Welcome. Today we tie a little perch fly on a Texas worm hook. Um, now we're using the Kamakatsu hook as uh, the hook points a little bit higher than the hook eye, and this ensures better hook setting. Um, I used the uh, used other hooks before, and then you just missed too many fish. You can also turn these. Um, tip here a little bit to the side so if you off center just get it in the vise and just bend it a bit that ensures an even better hook set and then you can tie a really good perch fly which is uh, you can really fish really slow over the bottom so we start tying a few thread wraps down here nothing much just to ensure that the bead is holding here. Just give it a few turns here, a few turns on the other side. I right, just to add a little bit more keel weight, you could also do this with lead. I like to use uh, just 4mm tungsten beads. When we have that, we secure it with a little bit of super glue. Like that. And then, if you want, you can highlight it with a little bit of uh, the gold amber lens. So, for this color, I would go with the uh, hot fluor orange. Just put a bit around here. Just gives it some extra protection. Take it off the slide. And get everything tight. And that's just the preparation for the extra fly. Now we can start tying the fly. And the fly is really, really easy. It's uh, just imitating kind of a worm pattern. So we start with the, just a few thread wraps on the um, yeah, let's, let's call it hook shank, as it's really short. And then I always recommend it with this Texas hook to secure it with a little bit of super glue, as uh, you don't have really much space to, to build up tension. Usually you don't need it, but uh, just a safety case. Now we take, I think this is opossum, just as a tail. And this piece here, and the um, end, you want taper bit, so we just cut it into a triangle, you can do that best with the uh, razor blade, but I'll just do it with my scissors here. And then it looks like that, and that removes kind of the hairs on the side and always just tapers your, your tail already a bit. And then what you have to do now is you have to measure how long the tail is going to be. So I want it around that length. And then you have your hook point here. And then I usually just do, hope you can see that, just a little cut in there. And then you can slide it on the hook. And then you can just tie it in later. It's a really simple fly to tie quite effective over the last couple of days. And then we just really tie it down like that. All you need to do then is just to grab a little bit of uh, dubbing. Like this long fiber dubbing, 
I use uh, some greenish colors, olive colors of Monster Dab. On this one here. Just cut them in half. With the uh, when you tie in this long fiber dub, you don't want to exceed over the hook point, otherwise, you have a chance that it's tangling in here and it's uh, decreasing the uh, the uh, hook hook set quality. So, just keep it simple, make it a bit shorter, cut it in half, and then re taper it. And then we can just get it around the hook like that. Now what you can do as well, if you want to, you can tie a little bit of flesh in it. It doesn't really need much. It's a really crinkled flesh. Gives a lot of reflection. Now we just tie in one strand on each side. Fold them back and just tie them down. Like that. Make a knot here and cut the thread. All you have to do then is put a bit of glue on the thread wraps. So they are secured, and then we take our cap brush and just brush everything in place like that. And then you got already a finished worm fly, which you can fish really, really slow over the bottom. You see the hook point is out, hook set is good. Enjoy tying.